football chasing via BT Sport you already know that this is going to become a thing. The thought process is utterly predictable. It goes like this, Australia are no longer ball tampering and are no longer taking wickets with the old ball. The opposition are taking wickets with the old ball, ergo they must be ball tampering. For a certain sort of fan, this is an entirely logical train of thought. The alternative, that Australia are less good at batting or less good at bowling than the opposition, simply doesn't chime with the long-established fact that Australians are the best at cricket. This isn't all Australia fans. It's just the ones who bleed about pitch doctoring whenever Australia lose overseas. Their definition of a doctored pitch, one possessed of any characteristic that differs from a typical Australian pitch, if opposition ball tampering paranoia has not yet manifested itself, let us assure you that, it will and let us also assure you that it is not going to go away anytime soon. If you thought that being caught sandpaper in hand, pants would encourage a new spirit of humility, you haven't been paying attention. The country that introduced this to the phrase, elite humility, quite clearly hasn't really got to grips with the concept. While we will instead be treated when the wake of all future Australia defeats as a mega dose of elite sanctimony. The reason we lost is because we are the only ones who are playing fair, Australia are getting beaten. Let the thinly veiled retaliatory mudslinging commence. Stop, stop, wait a minute.